It only took me forever to get back home. Ugh, I'm gonna have to edit all that time out. My god. Wake up. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna wanna go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Straight to the north. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. I want you to stand up. like it's a bad idea to use some of this stuff one day Miyamura, i will visit you again but not today And away we go. Huh. It's interesting to me that... Oh, there's fog today. Okay, so she said back towards the lake, I think initially what she stated and then up that way I f I believe I don't recall actually so I'm going to huff it back towards 306 then I suppose yeah I guess that's the best route to take time to run It's got a little bit of a sense of mystery to it. Like, you get really immersed in Henry's story. Oh. Hello, fog. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder, though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, um, I don't know. I used to just spend a lot of time with our dog, Bucket. Aw, that's a good name. He was a good dog. What type? A beagle. We got him from the pound. That's great. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. So there's a path hey, back there. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, Bucket's a cute name. You, um, you owned him with someone? Who was that? Who is who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. 
Oop. Ah, right. So I can't go that way, I suppose. Eh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> uh, medicine wheel. Eek. So I don't really know how to get home. Or get to where I need to go. A lot of this game is endlessly wandering through the forest. A little longer than a few minutes later. Oh, I also wish I paid more attention to detail here. I know she said to go north or something of that nature. So maybe we'll go past um, that one place now. Oh, maybe we should follow the phone line. That would make more sense. Oh. Uh. I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. Second option. You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up. Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Uh, I just covered my head with my pillow. Seems to do the trick. Wow. The forest could never burn down on your watch. Uh. Hello? I found it. Oh, I also found a cache right there too. Maybe the cache has a rope. All these trees are stripped. Copy this information. Hmm. Two dollars and fifty cents. Okay. A book. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Could find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Let's go look at the wire. Because the trees have already been stripped, I'm kind of curious. I have this... What? Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. Why do you think they'd be up here? Hell if I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. Oh boy. I wonder if I caused this? In some kind of weird way because I threw their boombox? No, two little chicks. Would they would have would they have done this? Oh boy. Oh no.
Oh, yeah. Sabotage. Go to hell. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just yep. found it. It was them. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this That's is how panties. people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? Oh boy. I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Oh, let's hear it. Oh yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. It's true. Oh, um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Locked trail, of I'm course. Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Is this truth? Supply job. Okay. We're gonna go this way. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always go for it for supplies. you got camera oh rope nice well I am flush with ropes now that pack was full of them in decent condition too that's lucky I mean there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up I think oh get this this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras with pictures left yeah he only used three or four Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> yeah, kinda, I guess. How do I get down? In two forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Oh. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. That's kind of anyway, weird. So it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? A loose stone. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Could be the same person who left that antler. Well, maybe they're leaving me an entire creature piece by piece. Okay, oh. Is that fire? Yeah, it certainly hey, looks like something. Sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. 
It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Five Mile Creek, you say? Smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. Okay. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful! This is gonna turn into an awe-inspiring love. But much like any story, I feel like it's gonna be welcomed with a bit of tragedy. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, no. I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh yeah, you should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna turn into a beautiful love. I can feel it now. Really don't have eyes on the smoke anymore, unfortunately. Oh. This keeps changing. I don't like that at all. Oh, not a blocked trail, man. Are you telling me I came all this way? Oh. Never mind. Did I just run in a big circle? No way. I'm calling it now. They're gonna have babies. Remember to be careful out there, guys. Kissing leads to babies. If you didn't know, that's that's how we had our baby. We started kissing and then suddenly she got pregnant. It's crazy. I don't know if I could trust myself to get back up that. That seems pretty steep. Where did the smoke go? I don't even see it anymore. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I'm assuming I am. But assumptions are bad. There we go. Yep, no, we're going the right way. Another pointless cache up on the road. Two routes you can take. I think. Oh, no, just... Great big open area. There's our cache. It's a little quiet for me. Too quiet. Pine cone. Nothing of use in there. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I Aspen am. Aspen Grove. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I didn't. 
Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. I see. I don't see the smoke anymore, though, is the problem. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. It's floating. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Oh, we got another save point. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Ah, found my sheets. Seems it was like them. Break into your tower. Looks like... I have entered the teen zone. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Wow. Uh, yeah, this got really good. roughed up. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Okay. Yeah. Let me know what it says. You no, know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Oh, you're happy we're leaving. We're gonna go find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped us out in the lake and then you came and destroyed our can site and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross. Out. You're probably a mental axe murderer. Gonna go to jail. It was worth being a jerk with some fireworks. Interesting. They're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? No, well, hey, I didn't do this. Okay, someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. Yeah, I took their whiskey back at the lake, but that just felt like. I don't know, the cost of doing business. That's different, okay? And I don't blame you. It's, it's... Weird. Know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but... That looks gone. like it's a bear. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back. And we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh, I guess you just progressed into day three. Okay, so I am a panty raiding axe murderer. Lovely. Add that one to the book. Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Do you know Raleigh Fingers, who pitched for the A's? No. Well, I'm the spitting image of him. Oh, wait, is he the guy with the snidely whiplash thing going on from, from the 70s? <gasps> oh, my dad loved him. Yeah, that's him. That mustache. Mm. Now you have my attention. Okay. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Politically correct for PC, it's funny. Man, <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then 
What do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm, had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I hmm. got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, so. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh... A pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right, perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They're, uh, they're steely, cold, hard stare. Hmm, like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. Do you get what you need? Absolutely. Interesting. Oh, and that uh, window is all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. A lot of dialogue. I like intensity. Really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Oh, wow. That's all we did that day? Wow, that's a productive. That's about my regular day, though, to be perfectly honest. I'm not a protective individual. What is that a sandwich? Where'd you get bread? Hello, Henry. I'm having a nice or were you eating pine cones? Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then probably the last person to have seen him. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I never even got very close to them. Well, uh... One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. They turned up missing? <laughs> Yo, what? Okay, that was day nine, so this is six days later. Right? Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, a big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. This is you know. interesting. <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. 
and Kedjul's. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Yo, we just jumped another two weeks. What is happening? This is so interesting.